Hey guys, I'm Nathan, aka Peter Bear Panda, and today I'm just gonna show the basic changes between the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft and the PlayStation 4 edition of Minecraft, which there are actually very few of. Uh, basically, in the create a new world option, there is now like, well, this is pretty much the same, this is the same, this is also the same. Yeah, that, the UI is a little bit different, the online games are out here now, and now there's more options which has all these. I'll get to disable or save in a minute. Uh, that's the same, but this is where it gets, like this is all the same, but this is where it gets different. Classic, this is like a regular world size on the old versions. This is much bigger. This is much bigger than that. And this is even bigger than these ones that predate it in size. Uh, this large is 32 times the size of this. I'm not really sure about these two, like how they are in relation to it, but I'm guessing uh, this is 8, this is 16, and something like that, maybe. I don't know. To make it linear ish in size. Even, actually, no. What are they? I, don't, I don't know. I could work that out, but I don't want to. Yeah, as I said, these are all the same. It doesn't matter. Seeds. No idea if the seeds are the same or not game options. Now, as uh, the autosave is very different now. Uh, the way it worked on the last gen was that it would autosave every 5, 10, 15, half an hour, how many minutes you wanted. And then it would like, take like 10 seconds to save the game, like every once in a while. Now, it constantly saves the world, like, or whatever. Like, constantly, every single second saves the world. Which is an interesting way of doing it, but if you're the kind of person that just like exits without saving and reloads the world from, uh, you know, every time if you die in lava or whatever, you can just disable it. I know I have at least once. Uh, yeah. Now let's go into one of my other worlds. Uh, more options. You've got still all the same ones. Uh, you've also got like the reset, never and host privileges and stuff. Load game. Okay. I thought I'd lagged a bit then, but I didn't. It takes less time to load the games now, I think. That's to be given, really. Yeah. Okay, dokey, dokey. It's just word, okay. Yeah. Another difference is that you can see things from further away now, which is quite nice. You can, it's better for exploring. And you, oh yeah, the maps. The maps. Maps. Like, you can see me there at the bottom. That's, the map's not working properly anymore because I've gone outside of the spawn area. So, and the map is tailored to that spawn area. So the map, I need to make a new map for this area that I'm in now. Which is another interesting way of doing it. So has the coordinates on it, that's nice. And the, only other major difference really that I found is that the frame rate is actually like good. Usually it lags like quite a bit on uh, well on PS3 and just like the frame rate. Maybe it still will in like a split screen. I've not tried that out because I like don't have any friends because I'm a shadow who plays Minecraft. But I don't know. Uh, yeah. There is another thing that are like. 10, 15 new achievements, which uh, some of them are quite hard to get actually. Like Cure Zombie Villager, I, I think I have the resources for it, but I can't find a zombie villager in it. So, you know, I'm gonna try and like get some of these guys zombified, maybe, and then get the achievement. That's about it, really. Uh, so, I'm gonna do guides on how to get all the new achievements. Well, not the easy ones, like maybe a diff more difficult ones I will, but like. Uh, one of them was uh, but an enchantment table, which is, you know, you get the resources and then you put it and then you like build it, that's it. You, like, it's right there, you can build it easily. But, well, bye guys, I'm going to be doing more Minecraft videos, maybe. Not, not a let's play because they were overdone. Bye. Uh, one last thing is uh, signs, uh, now. Uh, if you have a PlayStation 4, I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's not an Xbox because they don't have a touchpad on the thing. But the PlayStation 4 controller has a little like touchpad on it, like a laptop, so you can use that to type signs and stuff now. And that's a 
difference, I suppose. Okay. Bye for real this time. Bye.